you notice that there's some new report features inside of QuickBooks. So today's tip is all about some new changes and updates that I want to share with you and why you'd want to use them. Hi, I'm Candace Camper. If we've never met before, I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And today we're talking about QuickBooks Online and some of the new functionalities that are they're rolling out within the reports. So whenever you get something new, sometimes you're feeling like, ah, why did they make this change? But they are trying to prove it just like we all do within our own businesses. So I want to share with you how you can switch it back to the classic view if you want to, but also how to even get to these reports. So let me jump into QuickBooks with you. Come over here on the left and click on reports. As you scroll through, when they make the new changes to certain reports, you're going to see new and enhanced experience. So you can scroll through. I recommend clicking on any of these. This actually came up on one of my calls that I was doing recently for our QuickBooks Simplified community. The member went in and she was, I was working with her on something. She's like, oh my gosh, they changed this. What do I do? And so if you don't like the look and feel of this, you can click switch to classic view. Sometimes we don't realize that button's there, so you can just click it. But I also want to encourage you that it's really common that we don't want change. We don't want to make something different, but I am going to encourage you to try this one out. Okay. Go in here and click around. Only way to learn is by doing. So you can come in here. You can, this is going to be your, where your date range is. So you can say last year, you can say this year, you can change the title up here and come over here to your filters. You can customize it. I love this. So this is where you can, the eyeball, you can choose by grabbing this, what order you want to move things around. Do you want to see it or not? It's what the little eyeball is. Cash versus accrual. So get in here. You can save it. You can export it. All different kinds of things. But if you say, I don't like it. I just want what I'm used to. Click on the switch to classic editor. And you'll notice your report switches back to what you're used to. Let me know in the comments. Are you going to switch to classic editor or are you going to try out the new functionalities which one do you like below let me know if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and if you'd like to get these types of tips and tricks in your inbox every single week go up above or down below and we will send them to you and if you're thinking i really like to learn more about how to just customize and use quickbooks for your business how to truly feel confident being able to either pull your reports enter in any of your transactions check out our customizing QuickBooks workshop. I'll put the information up above or down below. I can't wait to see you in my next tip and trick. Thank you so much for being part of my community. Bye.